So if you're anything like me, you're probably a bit of a digital minimalist and you want to get your morning off to a good start by you know, getting the ball rolling, um, with some small tasks just in the start of the day. I personally like to keep my mornings fairly consistent um, just kind of, so I can have a sense of continuity and flow in the morning and then build up speed towards uh, my peak hours in the middle of the day. Um, so I'm going to go over briefly just a high level walkthrough of my dashboard and then also show you a trick that I've found using Toby, which is a uh, bookmarks tool um, and Notion to kind of uh, boost into projects uh, from my dashboard. So I'll step through the walkthrough and then I'll show you a little bit about Toby and how I'm using it here in Notion. So this is what I see in the morning. If I hit command one, I'll come to this workspace out of a few that I've been invited to. Um, across the top, we have common areas that I'll find uh, myself in. If I'm in the learning phase, I'll check out my active courses, um, what's going on in my notes related to those courses. I also have on my dashboard a content hub or a content production dashboard where I'm weaving together notes to try and produce bits of content and I schedule them in a calendar. Uh, agency work here and all my collaborators there. Uh, CRM of people and kind of uh, actions on who I should be following up with or messaging soon. And then a weekly reflection space. Um, everything is kind of within two clicks, so I have my projects, areas, resources, and research here. And if you don't know why I structure it in this way, then check out my video on setting up Para in Notion. The next thing I really like to do is kind of sit down and engage in this kind of morning ritual of figuring out what my free wins are for today. So I'll do that um, just here and create a new win. And as I complete it, I tick one and it closes. So. I'm just setting my morning up as I, I go. And this will kind of be influenced by this mini morning ritual that I have, which is to sweep <laughs> a little write, writing to myself, um, sweep my browser and use my Notion web clipper to bring anything that feels like it needs to be read at a later date or anything that's interesting but not essential to um, what I've got going on in the morning, and I'll just use the web clipper to bring it into the knowledge hub for reading later down the line or towards the end of the week. Um, I'll then do some arbitrage on my WhatsApp, Telegram, and my email. These are the main channels that people contact me, and this kind of influences uh, what my wins will be for the day. Um, is there anything that I need to uh, schedule or uh, pass on and delegate to someone else? Is that something I need to look at immediately? Um, that's kind of my morning flow right now, is to chew for all of that and then set up my day. The fun thing that I found with Toby, um, and if you're not familiar with Toby, maybe I'll give you a quick little show of that. Um, I really like Toby and it's a punchy headline. Better than bookmarks. Bookmarks are for books, not browsers. And I find that to be true. It's a really great tool and it's a Chrome extension that lives up here. Every time you open a new tab, you are given the Toby workspace. And you can basically take your open tabs. So say I'm working with this tab here I can bring it into a category um, or a project and it builds these collections of bookmarks. And the reason why that's really helpful is because I can create a shortcut to open all 10 tabs um, very quickly. And to do that, I have to go to shared with one team. So I click the share thing and I copy this link if I click it, I get it in the browser there. And this is what I see. If I click open 10 tabs, it will launch all 10 of these for me. I've already gone and done that in um, my dashboard. So say you're working on a project or 
there's something that you're going to be continually looking at and you need a couple of tabs to work on that project um, or say you have a business process and you know you're going to be doing something on one tool and then the other tool um, then you can kind of bring these collections together and name them by process or name them by project so I've just created this little bundle here if I click it it brings me to this page um, if I click open all tabs then boom all 10 tabs are open and ready for me to start work on them. So I've just found this a really nice way to kind of kickstart the flow of projects instead of diving into history and figuring out where I was working on that thing or did that was that article relevant. It's just another way of kind of clumping together what's important um, and then launching it all from one convenient little space. So. I hope you found that helpful. Um, it's brought me a lot of joy not having to think about what tools are necessary for what client work or um, where I can source all the readings for a certain research group um, from. And yeah, highly recommend getting Toby. Have fun with it and I'll see you next time.